Many caterpillars display colorful designs to blend into the background or to signal a warning to predators that they are distasteful or dangerous. With regard to perfecting their camouflage, larvae of southern emerald moths decorate themselves with petals while feeding on flowers of different plants. Take for instance the caterpillar that we videotape feeding on a plumbago plant. Before eating, the larva snipped off bits of blue petals and attached them to sharp spines protruding from its carapace. Obviously, placing fresh cut petals on its back helps a caterpillar disguise its presence. Also, the larvae frequently added new petals to replace those that had shriveled. It wasn't long before we discovered a second looper feeding on Spanish needles, a plant that has white flowers. As expected, the caterpillar covered its body with flower petals, which later turned brown. In this instance, however, the larval's body is yellow, not pink, which suggests that we encountered a caterpillar of a different species of emerald moth. Not likely, since the color of a camouflage looper's body is in part determined by the food it digests. As explained by researchers, southern emerald moths employ a double cloak of invisibility to avoid detection. Furthermore, while pupating, loopers also wrap themselves with petals and seeds which they secure to their body with silk. So it would seem that this small moth has evolved multiple ways to avoid predators, which raises several new questions. Have different defensive strategies used by emerald moths evolved in response to different predators, such as parasitic wasps and birds? Also, does the rough, spiny skin of a camouflage looper deter predators? We welcome comments from viewers to help us better understand this fascinating species.